now we're going to the law now. Because I asked you earlier, is the Mormon church trying to keep the law? You say yes. And I'm going to show you that's a lie. That's not true. Now, remember we just read, there is no private interpretation. Stay right here. I'm going to read you some law. Go to the law of the people. That's right. Right. I'm going to show you some law. Mm -hmm. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 27. We're in the book of Leviticus 19, read. Verse 27. Verse 27. Ye shall not round the corners of their heads, neither shall thou mark the corners of thy beard. God said, according to the law, that, that is not a public interpretation. God said, a man's supposed to have a beard in his face. That is a law. You just told me the moment church you teach, the moment church teach you how to keep the law. No, they did not. Because if they did, you would have a beard. Right. Absolutely. Let's go to, let's go to the, the, the law of the fringe. Mm -hmm. Those are laws. And guess what? Those are not private interpretation. Mm -hmm. so where, where are your when you read this, it's supposed to tell you to keep a beard. When he read this, it's tell the same thing. Whoever read that verse, according to the law, is supposed to tell us the same exact thing. Okay. Not my private reputation, not your private reputation, because guess what? God don't care about how I think or how you think. But the Bible says that's what God cares about. That's right. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. So. Speak unto the children of Israel. He said, God, he God tell Moses, speak unto the children of Israel. You know the funny thing is? The whole Bible is about the children of Israel. That's right. You're not going to find Mormon in the Bible. So, when do you go to the temple to sacrifice your land? When do? Go to? Uh, when? No, 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 no. My question is to you. When do I am going to answer your question. Go to the temple. To I'm going to answer your question. Right. Go to the book of Hebrews. I'm going to answer your question. Right. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 4. This is the answer to your question. Hey, what up? You know the thing about the Bible is? Whatever you might think about now, God got the answer for you. For it is no. not possible, for it is not possible, no. that the blood of bulls and of goats should take away sin. Remember how we used to, every year we used to go to Jerusalem to sacrifice. Keep on reading. Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not. What did, what did he say when he cometh? Who are you talking about? Jesus. He's talking about Christ. What is Christ saying? Wherefore, when he cometh into the world, he saith, Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not. Sacrifice and offering thou wouldest not. But a body hast thou prepared me. But a body. Christ is talking about himself. Most I got prepared a body. What is that body? Christ himself. That's right. Christ represents the animal sacrifice today. B. In burnt offerings and sacrifice for sin, thou hast had no pleasure. You hear that? God have no pleasure in those sacrifice animals no more. Because why? Because now God have the perfect lamb, which is Christ. That's, That's right. why we no sacrifice animals no more. Right. Christ is that perfect sacrifice. What is that called? The law, the sacrificial law. That is the only law, by the way. That is the only law that we don't keep. That's right. The sacrificial law. Right. We still gotta keep all those laws. Mm. Why we don't keep the sacrificial law? Because Christ is that perfect animal sacrifice. Now, we don't have to keep that sacrificial law. But we still have to keep the dietary law. We still have to keep the law where we got to celebrate every high holiday in this Bible. That's right. We still, the law of marriage, we still got to keep all these laws. The only law we don't keep is the sacrificial law. But Christian theory today, you don't have to keep no law. That's impossible. If you tell me not keep no law, that means I can't go out there to commit adultery. I can be a homosexual. There's no law against that. But the Bible tells you, no, you should not do those things. That's not coming at dodge, that's not murder. About, All these laws, uh, yeah. the only law you don't keep today, brother, is the sacrificial law because of Christ. What, about, what is your next question? What about the law for an eye for an eye and two for a teacher? What about it? So yeah. in, the, in the Old Testament it says that if you take the eye of your brother, then you take your eye out, and if you take his tooth out, then you take your tooth out. But Jesus said that is done away, and we should love her. So there's more laws that Jesus give me Matthew fulfilled and that we don't Matthew. keep anymore because uh, he fulfilled the law. Give me the book of Matthew when Christ said, and what are those laws that you can Give me that, that, that. What is that, Matthew 12 or Matthew 18? About what? For all money of sin. Give me that. Matthew um, 12 and 30, it's 32 around that area. Go to Matthew 12. I'm going to show you something what Christ said. 31. That's a good question. 31. Read that. Man 
Matthew writes it, the Holy Spirit. This is what Christ said. Matthew chapter 12, verse 31. Wherefore I say unto you, all men are of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men. My sin. All manner of sin. What you just said is a sin, right? Remember under the law of Moses. Now, remember, go back to the law of Moses. Before Christ. There was certain sin. There was, you can, uh, there was no animal sacrifice for it. For example, the sin of homosexuality. There was no animal sacrifice. You got to die. The sin of, you, you call her uh, adultery, you call her married woman with a man. She got to die, he got to die. There was no forgiveness for that. There was no animal sacrifice for that. Today, under Christ, you can, you can ask for forgiveness. A homosexual today can repent. A adultery can repent. An idolater can repent. But those things, there was no animal sacrifice, just like you just said. That crime, a two for a two, there was no, there was no sacrifice for that. If you kill a man, they have to kill you. That was the law. But today, there is forgiveness. Yes, today you're going to go to jail, absolutely. Because you're still under the law of the so-called white man. Right. You got to go to jail. But according to the scripture, you can ask for forgiveness. Right. You follow what I'm saying to you? That's what Christ said this. Do that again. Wherefore I say unto you, all manner of sin. Christ said all manner of sin. All manner of sin. Under Christ, you can be forgiven for any sin. That's why it's very important that people got to know that. Right now we're under mercy. Because once Christ comes back, mercy is off. Yes, because right. churches say you have to give the law because you're under grace. Do you know what grace means? Yes. Grace, what does grace mean? Grace means that we're saved by uh, our Christ. By no, <laughs> that's not what grace means. Uh, no, grace means right now you, 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 got, you got a chance Wait, to get to my right. Oh, right. You got a chance to get to yourself right. I'm going to give you an example yeah. about grace. They were, they were, they were got to look at grace. Yeah. You pay a light bill? Do you pay light bill or water bill? Yeah. If the month come, you don't have the money. Let's say your month, your monthly light bill is a hundred dollars. The month come to pay, you don't pay. You don't have the money. You call the company, they give you what you call a grace bill. Do you still have to pay that light bill? That's what grace means. That's right. Absolutely. Most like God give us grace to get our self right for a certain time. But that sin you in. And you still have to pay for that sin? Absolutely. If you don't get yourself right during that grace period, because it's a grace period, but now once I got give us a grace period to give ourself right, Christ is still coming. And guess what? If you don't get yourself right, you're not going to be Christ is coming, guess what you're going to die. That's why I use that example as the light bill. You still have to pay it, or else eventually they're going to cut it off. Right? Is the same thing with Christ. That's what Moses got there with Christ. He sent Christ to be that perfect lamb. So Moses got said, wait a minute. And then the Lord Moses, there was certain sin. They had to die. I'm going to change that. And I'm going to send Christ. Under Christ, now you got a grace period to be right. Right. Now guess what? Now you hear the law of the beard. Christ come back, you still don't have it. Guess what's going to happen to you? You might say to yourself right now, I know what you might say. Am I going to die? Because I don't have a big law. Guess what, brother? That's the law. That's our law. Right now, God give you that grace period to let that thing grow. God give you that grace period to have fringes on your shirt. To, to live according to what the Bible says. The scripture said not to round the corners of your beard. I think mean, he's, he's obeying the law because I can see the beard grown down. But your beard's gonna round it down. Mm -hmm. Your beard's gonna round it down. What, you know what that means? Why, why do you trim your beard? It says, it's not talking not about trimming. Oh, oh, men, don't destroy your beard. You know how somebody, for example, uh, what? You know how they, you know how to talk to their people go, with, got, they got one little line that's destroying the beard. Chin strap. That's what he said. He, you can use stick and see the line in his beard. He destroy it. His beard don't grow right here. His beard grow right here. Right. You following? That's what it is. But what I'm saying to you is this is don't destroy it. But you, you don't have none at all. Right. You see like this brother right here? You see this brother right here? If I was this brother, next time, you just gotta do it right here. But when you go deep in it, you destroy it. That's what he's talking about. Well, no, it said not to round the corners of the beard. Leviticus, chapter 21, verse 5. 
They shall not make boldness upon their heads. The scripture says you got to have hair in your hair, no boldness. You know how people like to look at Michael Jordan, no hair? The scripture says you got to have boldness. You got to have hair in your hair. That's the law. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. He said don't shave the corner of their beard. What is, what is the corner of the beard? The corner of your beard? When you destroy it, when you destroy it, that's what that's talking about. That's what that's talking about. So guess what, brother? Next time I see you walk up, that's why I told you. It's the moment to teach you the law. You say, no, no, they cannot. Those are the things you're supposed to know. As a man who wants to live according to the law of God, you've got to know this thing. Because the question today, I have to tell you this, you ain't going to make it. That's right. It's not only you. A lot of our brothers and sisters are not going to make it. You know why? Because they don't know. Our job is to teach them. Second Samuel, no offense, we just not here to take no pictures. Second Samuel, chapter 19, verse 24. And may Philip, yeah, that's it. May Phibosheth, may Phibosheth, the son of Saul, came down to meet the king and had neither dressed his feet nor trimmed his beard. You hear that? No, this man come down to meet the king. He basically, the scripture said he looked like a bum. <coughs> he didn't show me his beard. He didn't let no, no shower. He didn't show his clothes. That was against the law. Read that again. And Mephuphilus, the son of Saul, came down to meet the king and had neither just to speak nor trim the spear. Let me imagine you coming to meet the king. We talk about, let's say you come, you're going to meet Obama. If you're going to meet Obama tomorrow, what you going to do today? You're gonna go to the barber shop, right? You're gonna have a haircut. You're gonna trim your beard. You're gonna go. You're gonna pick up the back suit because you know you're gonna be in camera. You say, "Damn, I wanna look good. I wanna take a picture with the president of the United States. I wanna look good." But this guy, he's gonna meet the king. He didn't have no shoes. He didn't trim his beard. He didn't take no shower. That's a bum. <laughs> the reason, you know, why we this? Why I why we this? That means because you have to take care of yourself. You have to take exactly. Your beard. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. What's your name, bro? I'm Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Yeah. Bro, it was not spinning you, but listen, yeah. that, that religion you go to, but that's the one way. That's you're not gonna find that in the Bible. The only true book, the only true book in the earth today is the Bible, brother. And all to the Bible is speak about the Israelite, the Israelite. From Genesis to Revelation, the Israelite, the Israelite. Yeah. And so, Salvation is there right. for everybody. That's what you brothers don't understand. And how is the Bible written? It's by inspiration, right? We, we determine that based on the scripture. Okay. The Bible was written by inspiration. Okay. What we believe is that we can also receive inspiration ourselves mm -mm. and to follow God's law. Okay? And we believe that he's inspired other people to write other books. That, that's give how we me, also follow. Give me that's Ezekiel. It. All right, listen, listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up, listen up. Listen up. Listen up. The, Mo um, the, Mor um, the Mormons, right? They follow somebody called Joseph Smith. He was a white man. Correct? No. No, no. no we follow Jesus. No. We don't follow no, Jesus. No, no. You all are. It's white. The more, more Mormon. The Mormons, they are white people. You no. understand me? Wait, they I recently, white? Yo, they no. recently no. started. No. 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 They, yeah, the Mormons, hey, listen. This is, they recently okay. yeah. started so bringing blacks people and, color. And, and people right. of color into their religion. Right. You understand? But the, right. the Mormons in the beginning, the, the Mormons, Morons. <laughs> the morons in the beginning was the only white people. You understand? No. What did the morons and them had a part to play in slavery? Yes, they did. They had slaves and they helped destroy them and they helped to destroy the Negroes. Did the moron descendants and them destroy the people in Panama? The people in uh, what, what, where you say from? El you know Salvador. What? Did the no. white man did that? Yes. Yes, no, yes he false. did. That's so false. no. You don't, let me people, get um. Let me get people, Jeremiah on, 22. On, 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 on. Jeremiah 22. Our people. Were we gonna read what the scripture says. We the conquistadors came. Our people were against Your people were all white people had a role to play. At that time, the all white people helped destroy the Negroes here. You understand? Read Jeremiah chapter 22, verse 13. Why unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness? Because the white man have built his house on unrighteousness, including the morons. Mormons.
ones or whatever the hell you want to call them. I know what people that are following after that garbage, they're going to die with them. You understand? Because Christ is coming back to judge and make war on this earth. Read. And his chambers by Rome. So the scripture says what? Read that again. And his chambers. Woe unto him. The scripture says it. Woe unto him. Woe unto him. You know what woe means? Woe means death. You understand? Death unto him. Read on. That buildeth his house by unrighteousness. America was built on unrighteousness. The moment they had slaves, they have to destroy our people. They are the descendants of their forefathers. You understand? Recently they come in the black community. When I see them, I chase them, I run them away, man. And they convert fools like this man right here. Because you are fool following after that garbage, man. White Read. man. And his chambers by wrong that use it. His neighbor's service without wages. Because they use our service without wages. Without wages. You know what that's called? That's called slavery. Now let's see what Christ said about slavery. Let's see what Jesus Christ said. You believe in Jesus Christ? You believe in Jesus Christ? You believe in Jesus Christ? All of you are believing in Jesus Christ. Let's see what Jesus Christ said. Revelation 13. That's right. Let's see what Christ said. Because the scripture said, War unto him that do his neighbor's service without wages and fill it a city in unrighteousness. Read what Jesus Christ said. Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Read on. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Mm. Read that again. He that leadeth into captivity. So this is what Jesus Christ said. He said, he that leadeth into captivity, read on. Shall go into captivity. Shall mean in future tense. Mm. Shall go into captivity. That's right. That's thus says the Lord. Mm. So was not the so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanics, wasn't was, was not them led into slavery? Yes, they were. Yes, they were conquered and destroyed by the conquistadors. That's right. By the so-called white men. They yeah, were conquered and destroyed. Right. You understand? Because right. our people follow the religion of our conquerors. You understand? Oh. As, I said, as I said, the Mormons was usually secluded, like the um, Amish. You know, the Amish is secluded. Amish. Mm -hmm. And recently, they got people, they got some blacks that try to mm -hmm. follow the Amish people. Mm -hmm. It is no different from the Mormons. Right. right. All right, now read that. Read, read the book of Nephi. Let's see what the oh, Mormons said. Second Nephi. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Let's see what he said, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what John two, Smith said Second about Nephi, you so-called Nick. 521. Second Nephi 521. And he had caused the cursing to come upon them. Yea, even a sore cursing because of their iniquity. For behold, they had hardened their heart against him, that they had become like unto flint. Wherefore, as they were white and exceedingly fair and delightsome, that they might not be enticing unto my people, the Lord did cause a skin of blackness to come upon them. So the Moses, their book, the book that Joseph Smith wrote, wrote right, says that it's a curse to have blackness, on, to have black skin. That's right. That's mm. what they say. Like their book says it's a curse, and this brother, he think he white, you know. Mm. My brother, you are a, you are an Israelite. Trump's you understand? Right. You from the tribe of Zebulon, you are not a white man. Mm. You understand? That's right. So the book of Nephi say, say that, to have black skin is a curse. God gave black people a put because wicked a and evil, we got a curse. That's what the Mormons teach. Now read. Uh, verse 22. And thus said the Lord God, I will cause that there shall be loathsome mm. unto thy people, which means very ugly, and save they shall repent of their iniquity. And cursed shall be the seed of him that mixed with their seed, for they shall be cursed even with the same cursing and the Lord spake it and it was done. Can that's why, that's why the Mormons never one? mix with us. Yeah. It says, And cursed shall be the seed of him that mix with their seed, for they shall be cursed even with the same cursing. I'm going to show you the treachery in that. The curse is that we were white and we became black, right? So any white man who mixed with us, they should be, be turning black. Because he said we're going to be cursed with the same curse if they're mixed with us. So why white people that's mixed with black people are not becoming black? That's 
garbage. All right, so no, no, no. We don't want to hear no from the Mormons, man. Listen, we don't want to hear no. You're finished. That's all true. Finish. Never, oh, yeah. They never know the, the, the scripture says that black curse. You know, black black curse is black. black. You just read in their own black. Mormon My book that it's a curse to be black. Oh, oh, oh Solomon, <laughs> chapter one. No, listen, listen, listen up, man. Song of Solomon, chapter one, verse four. This is what Solomon said. The whitest man that ever walked on this earth. Read. I am black, but comely. Solomon said he's what? I am black. But humbly. Don't be ashamed of your skin color, but well, that's no. right. Solomon said he was he's black and handsome. Ooh. You understand? That's what King Solomon said. That's All right. right. A lot of our right. people got that oh, inferior yeah. complex where you hate yourself oh, yeah. because your skins try to look like the white man. You understand? This white man write this book and he said that the Mormons and them follow and he said it's a curse to have black skin. But Solomon said, What? I am black. But comely. Solomon said, I'm, I'm black, but comely. Now let me get Lamentation 4 and 8. My skin is. 4 and 8. Lamentation 4 and 8. 5 and 10. It's 5 and 10. 5 and 10. No, 5 and 10 I want, not 4 and 8. But 5 and 10 said that too, but let me give it to you. Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 10. Our skin was black like an oven. Read that again. Our skin was black like an oven. So the prophets and then what they said, read that again. Our skin was black like an oven. Now go to go to Genesis 2 and 7. Because you're going to read right through the Bible and you're going to be hearing about the prophets and them being men of color. Right. The prophets and them was not Caucasian. Right. Right. The prophets and them did not have red skin. Right. All right. The reason you look the way how you look is because the white man conquer your people and sleep with the woman. Right. And that's why the way you look how you look. You understand? But the original people over there, do, do, they do not look like you. All right? The Puerto Rican, the way they look today, they were conquered by the Spaniards. And that's why they look like that. All right? A lot of you all think you are white, but you all are not white, man. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God formed men of the dust of the ground. So when you go into the dust of the ground, you got different shade of brown. You understand? God formed man from the dust of the ground. That's right. What that says about Adam. What that says about the first man that was created. What that says about a lot of the men, the man that everybody loved, the so-called white man. He said, he said that he a liar. That says that the white man is a liar. Because the white man said the first man was white. You understand? And you got all this, the white, the Jews are white and all of that. Exactly. But what, and look at the continent that the people was living on, the where they was living from um, in the beginning. You understand? But read that again. Those are European. And the Lord you know, God formed men of the dust of the ground. From the, the dust Jews. of the ground. That's how man was formed. Happy you understand? Lord. And when you look at the earth, the deeper, the deeper you go in the dirt, in the earth, the darker it gets. You understand? Now let's see about the Jews. Um, Jeremiah, Jeremiah 14, 14 and 2. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourned, and the gates thereof languish. So the scripture said the Jews are mourning, and the gates thereof languish. All right, read on. They are black. They are what? They are black. Read on. Unto the ground. Right says unto the ground. Because of what we just read in Genesis 2 and 7. God created man from the dust of the ground. Oh, okay. okay. You understand? No, let me get, let me get, um, let me get, um, I gotta get going. So Matthew 24 and 24. That's what we got to repent. That's what we said. Oh. I ain't shaking your hand, man. Repent. 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 When you repent, when you repent, I'm going to. This is my right here. You got to keep all the commandments. When you repent, when you repent, I'm going to shake your hand. That's fine. When you come out of the moments, I'm going to shake your hand. All right. That's right. No, I'm shaking your hand right now. Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. For there shall arise false Christ. So they're going to arise false Christ. Force Christ, all right? The, the Christianity, they teaches, the Christ that they teach is a false Christ, all right? We know it. And false prophets. And false prophets. Um, what that do, Joseph Smith, he was a false prophet. That's right. He said God came to him and gave him enlightenment and he wrote that book that says that the so-called blacks are screws because they got black skin, all right?
Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.